Welcome to Slain Excel Dragons video number 51. Hey, these are the videos that accompany this book. Hey, we're in chapter 9. Let's go look at our topics. We're going to talk about find and replace and go to special. This is actually the last chapter. Just a few topics for find and replace and go to. Let's go over to our Excel workbook. Our Excel is fun start workbook can be downloaded by clicking on the link below the video or get it from the DVD. We're on the sheet F and R and go to. And we're going to talk about find and replace first. Now find and replace can do something like highlight a column. And I want to find all the words that start with Sue or that are Sue and change it to S-I-O-U-X. Someone misspelled the name everywhere. So we can use find and replace. Now find and replace would be on the home ribbon over here in edit find, replace, we'll see go to and go to special, though that's the ribbon method. Find keyboard is control F, and that's a good keyboard shortcut because it, it can be used in almost any uh, program there is or any uh, browser for that matter. Find what? I want to find Sue. Now, wait a second, I want to find and replace. So if you remember control F, you can just come here and click on replace. Now. I remember I have some stuff left in there before. I, I know the keyboard shortcut for find and replace because they do it all the time. It's control H. But don't worry about it. Just control F. That works everywhere. And then you click on the replace. Find what? I want to find Sue tab and re replace with what? Now, I could click replace all, but I better be darn sure that there's um, not something else in the column like the verb Sue place all you might want to go find next and then when you find one you want you click replace but I, I'm pretty sure that they're all it'll be just fine so I'm gonna click replace all it found three click OK and just like that absolutely great guess what find and replace works inside of formulas now what happened here is we have some formulas there's a sum account account if and a sum if they're all using the I column these are for units in the I column but Oh, the person accidentally did sales, but they used the I column in every single one. So what can we do? Well, first, let's copy this I. And because there's a different formula in each cell, you can't just edit it up here and copy, and it, copy it down. You literally have to replace each one individually or do the formulas over. But no problem. I'm just going to highlight the four cells with the formulas, Control-H. I'm going to paste find what the I column. I'm going to replace it with the I column, but I'm going to change each I to a J. And then I'm going to select replace all. It found four. I'm going to click OK. I love that trick. Another trick that uh, where I use find and replace in formulas is if I get workbook references. Uh, from a different workbook, but I have all the same sheets and data on this sheet. I just search for the workbook name in square brackets and replace it with nothing. Find and replace. All right, so find and replace, pretty handy. Let's go and look at go to. Now, here we have some values. And there's this empty cell, empty cell, empty cell. What I really want is zeros. So I want to go to special and highlight all of the blank cells and then enter a zero into them. F5 is the keyboard shortcut for for go to and then I'm going to click on special. Go to special is just amazing. You can say things like, hey, find all the blanks and blanks and it will instantly highlight all the blanks, all the cells with comments, constants, formulas, even what type of formula objects this one's great if you have copied something from the internet and you have all these little you know objects all over the place I do this trick select them all and hit delete you could even uh, highlight all the conditional formatting and data validation we want blanks so I'm gonna click OK and just like that it highlights all the blanks in the active cell I'm gonna type 0 and by this time in the book you know that if you have any cell more than one cell whether contiguous or non-contiguous selected, whatever you have in the active cell, if you hit control enter, it puts that thing into all of the cells. That was go to special. Now let's look at another example of go to special. I have this range right here. And I would like I don't know where all the formulas are. 
and all I want to do is instantly highlight all the cells with the formulas and add a color. So I'm going to F5, go to Special, and Formulas. Click OK. And just like that, I have my cells highlighted, and then I click, boop, what, do whatever I want to those cells. All right, so find and go to just a couple tricks at the end of the book. Now there is uh, another video. We're going to cover a topic not uh, in the book. We will uh, see you next video. All right, here's our last homework. Uh, problems in the Slain Excel Dragons chapters 1 to 9 workbook. We're on the sheet chapter 9, 507 to 526. There's homework problem 97. There's the answer. Oh, that's a cool one. Uh, 98, 98 answer, 99, 90 answer, and 100, and 100 answer. All right, uh, see you next video.